Okay, day four of our 1990 Upper Deck opening. I'm opening three packs a day uh, for from the a box of Upper Deck that I picked up. Uh, so, uh, if you haven't seen the first three episodes before this one, make sure you go check it out. You'll see me pulling some of these cards that we got here. We got ourselves a Bo Jackson, uh, Nolan Ryan, and there's some behind those. So, be sure to go check those episodes out. Uh, if you did not get a chance to check it out, um, it's a good idea to go see what I pulled. Uh, there might be some cards in those that I missed, and don't know if they're good or not, but maybe you do, so let me know in the comments. Um, I will be doing the opening with my hands in the screen. I do shake, um, so uh, I apologize for that. It's something I cannot control. But I have dealt with it my whole life, so I'm cool with it. Okay, here we go. Let's see what we got. Uh, we got another two checklists, team checklists. I've been getting quite a few of those in the packs, which I might be able to set up some teams uh, if we hopefully get the Ken Griffey Jr., but I probably wouldn't do the team for... Ken Griffey Jr.'s, because I'm going to want to sell that card straight out. Hopefully we'll get it. <laughs> we got a whole pack of 36 cards. 36 packs here. We got a Reds. Greg Maddox. I do recognize that name. I'm not reading most of these names off because I just uh, don't want to butcher them. Uh, Joe Oliver, I've just pulled that one in one of the previous Carlton Fisk. I pulled that yesterday, actually. So I'm starting to get some doubles. I'm hoping I get some doubles, but the doubles are Ken Griffey Jr. And maybe like the Nolan Ryan would like to get Mark McGuire, Jose Canseco, those are the players that I collected as a kid back when I bought these packs when they were brand new. Okay, let's see what we got. It's always interesting you need to flip flop these all the time. We got a rookie. Ken Griffey. These cards they do back, forth, up, down, all around. Let's see what do we got for our sticker this time? It's in every one of them. Is that the Rangers? Uh, yeah, I can't get it to reflect right. Yeah, Rangers. got a Dave Henderson. I recognize that name because I back in that in the 90s I was an uh, athletics fan even though I do live in Chicago. I am a Sox fan and was an athletics fan because of Jose Canseco and Mark McGuire. Uh, now I'm a White Sox and Brewers fan because I live in Wisconsin but I am originally from Illinois. Willie McGee his cards are usually worth something. Carpenter, is it? Carter. Let's see. We've got Skinner. Randy Bush. Okay, well, not... Nothing that I'm going to hoot and holler about. But okay, we've got number three here. I was planning on picking up a bunch of uh, dollar packs at the flea market, which I will have them by the time this video is released, because this video will be a few days from when I'm recording it. Um, I get these from the flea market or a thrift store. Um, gentleman puts, has a guy that puts packs together for him. Usually got some pretty good cards in there for only a dollar a pack. I am currently pricing a lot of those out, so be sure to check out my what's um or my Collectex app 
and uh, at Northern Ants and see what I have for sale in there. We got a World Hershizer. I just pulled one of him the other day out of a different pack. Let's see if I can find I think it's right here. Yeah. Yeah, it was a uh, Nolan Ryan Stadium Club. I don't think it's really worth very much, but it might be worth something to somebody that collects them. Oh, there comes a good one coming up. One that I recognize, Roger Clemens. Good one. That Nolan Ryan. Pulled that the other day. Okay, well, Nolan Ryan, Kendrick, are they the Greg, Roger Clemens, oh, <laughs> tongue tied. <laughs> I'm filming these back to back to back, so, um, let's try to get tired. <laughs> okay, well, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Hope you're enjoying the series. Let me know in the comments. I will talk to you later.